What's one of the most dreaded sounds known to man? Yep, those sounds you hear when you're sitting in that chair, it's the dentist's drill. But could getting your teeth drilled be a thing of the past? According to new research, you may be able to one day regrow damaged teeth. What? Take a look. The technique of treating cavities hasn't changed in over a hundred years. After the dreaded shot to numb the pain, dentists drill out the decay and fill it with a synthetic material. But those fillings can break down and fall out, leading to more drilling and filling. Now researchers at King's College London are excited about a potential breakthrough in dentistry, coaxing stem cells to regrow tooth material and potentially fill cavities or even regrow whole teeth. They found that combining Tiglucid, a drug originally tested for Alzheimer's, and stem cells derived from the tooth pulp, they were able to successfully regrow tooth tissue in mice. So could the dreaded pinch of the needle and the screech of the drill be a thing of the past? And could treating teeth with medicine be in our future? Join us now, dentist Dr. Sako Karakosian. Doc, welcome, welcome back. back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Crazy. Is this something, in your professional opinion, that could happen someday? This not only could happen, it's incredibly groundbreaking. Now keep in mind, this is clinical trials just on mice teeth in a controlled laboratory setting. It still has to go through a lot of FDA approval and other trials before so it's safe for humans. How translatable is that? Like, how similar are mice teeth to human teeth in terms of the way they grow? Well, traditionally, mice are one of the first animals that they use to study certain medications on that they might eventually use on humans. Um, they're similar, but there's still a lot of differences that need to be proven in clinical studies before this is safe for human use. Mm -hmm. So. Are you tapping into these precursor cells to turn them on? Is that what these medications that's, are doing? That's exactly what it's doing. With the Alzheimer's part of this medication, it's inhibiting a certain enzyme, and they found that the same enzyme might be what's inhibiting the growth of dentin. So with this medication inside the tooth, they're gonna release dentin stem cells to be able to regrow that part of the tooth. It's amazing. Would there be any risks there? I, I Again, this is foreign territory for me, but when you're, you're giving yourself even a localized medicine that says, hey, grow more of this, grow more, <clears throat> would that ever be an issue? Or just your teeth start growing and then all of a sudden your teeth are growing out of your mouth? How, that that yeah, just seems I mean, so I bizarre to me how to know off. and how to know exactly how much of the dentin that it should produce. It's fascinating, but I'm just curious. Is that something you have to worry about? Well, it is fascinating. Once a stem <laughs> cell is released and allowed to proliferate into what it's meant to do, it kind of knows when to stop and shut off, but sometimes it might not, and that's why these clinical studies are necessary to make sure that it's safe for humans and that this actual enzyme knows when to stop so you're not growing teeth out of your mouth. This would be a game changer for the way that you treat some of these issues. Right. Well, look, we're not looking to find things to fix. We're looking for prevention, and that's where a lot of dentistry is nowadays. The more we could prevent, the better. The less we can actually go into a tooth with a drill, the better for not only us, but also for you. I've had a lot of dental work done over the years, and I will tell you that that sound does give me the heebie-jeebies, so if this comes to fruition, I will be as excited as anyone. <laughs> Dr. Sacco, thank yes. you. Yeah, thank you for having me.